Um, so tell me, uh, what's going on? You said you saw the fire start? Yeah, I think I seen it start because there was a little bit of puff of smoke over here. And I usually call Candace and Jeremy, the fishing game here, and they fight fire to you right next to their place here. Um, and I didn't this time because it was, they were right here. So I didn't realize it was further back. So I went and drove way up, went up about 4,000 foot level up. And when I came back, and I could see it then, it wasn't a very big fire. When I came back four hours later, it was huge. Yes. It was just huge and headed, wasn't headed towards us, headed east. So you saw, so, did you see it last night? I did, yeah. What did it look like, a big glow? It was, yeah, on, we call it Thai Ridge by Thai Valley here. Um, and it was a big, big glow, it went, at, the plane stopped dropping at night. And so they had it, it was pretty much nothing. So the sun went down, it glowed a little bit, and then I woke up about three in the morning and it was a big glow then, it was really glowing, yeah. How worried are people out here? Well, probably pretty worried because it's right behind us right now. It's just a mile, two miles from us right now. And it's, com and it's coming down in here. I'm about half a mile up the hill away. And so if it gets down here and gets past them here, then my camp's gonna get burned up. But you're just, you're, you tell me you're just gonna hold it out until then, right? I'm gonna wait till it's coming because I, I can't break everything down and get it loaded up anyway. So I put my laptop, my guns, my border collie and my bag of food and I know people in Thai that I can go to. And then I'll lose all my remote control planes and helicopters and stuff, but you know. That can't happen. Yeah. Um, I saw a lot of people are have uh, sprinklers on their roofs and all that stuff. Is that a typical thing to do out here? Or what? It is, yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. You get sprinklers on your fields, get sprinklers on your house for the embers and stuff so it doesn't catch them on fire and on the fields for your horses and stuff. Like Jeremy and Candace, they said they're not leaving. They've got horses and stuff and they're watering back there and they're gonna do the best they can. And they're, they're gonna be here fighting it anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, I got some shots of them having water on the fields. Yeah. And the, another guy was telling me he put tape and stuff over his vents to keep ashes out, is that? Smoke probably. Yeah. Smoke too, yeah. So what are you, sir, so you're just gonna hang out here for a while and, and wait it out, how will you know when it's coming? I can see this hill, I can see the side of it. If, it, if I see fire up there, then I'm out, then I have to go. The, the, it's gonna depend on what the wind does. We don't have any wind, real wind right now. At the fire, they say that there is, there's like 30 mile an hour wind blowing southeast. So then it wouldn't come to us, but just spoke to Jeremy and, and Candace and they said it's coming down the hill. So that means there's either no wind or the wind's pushing towards us. So they said it's coming down here. It's gonna be here. frightening. You, you gotta be, I mean, it's scary. It is. It didn't used to be so bad for the fires here and now it's every year. It's really bad. And this one's the worst one for me and for them That's because it's coming right down to their place. So. Do you feel any better? We've seen um, a bunch of fire crews coming up and down the road. Does that help? I mean, ease a little bit of the worry or you're just like, I don't know. <laughs> but I still don't know. Yeah. But I probably know them. I probably know the guys, but because <laughs> it said Thai, Thai Valley Fire Department on one of them, you know, so yeah. You can definitely hear the planes flying. Yeah, fly, they're, they're flying again. That's good. See, that, that'll help. That's what we need. And the, they can, they can kind of guide it and make it go away, you know, so yeah. I seen smoke up here on this hill, about halfway up. When I was coming, coming down the hill here, and so yeah. But, Perfect. Is there anything you want to add I'm not asking you? Hope it works out good, and I hope everybody's safe, and hope that their places don't burn up. I really do. Yeah, I'm sorry for people that are losing things. No kidding. Have you heard of any structures lost? I haven't, because all I've talked to is Candace. Oh, and, and I talked to the man with the cows that he runs up here. Yeah. Um, can't remember his name, but yeah, I think he stopped talking to me all the time up here, so he was concerned about like me. Any structure you burned yet? So that's good. I, I don't think so. Maybe up uh, up there towards Dufer or something, you know, back that way. Yeah, so, we'll go but, check.